Hello, I'm uh, Aurélien Cor. I'm uh, the co-founder and the CTO of Stanley Robotics. Stanley Robotics is a French startup that was created in 2015. We come from the technology of the autonomous driving car and we decide to deploy this technology to everyone. The Lyon Airport project starts in uh, 2018. The idea is that the customer arrive at the car park and will come, park his car in a cabin, then they go to fly and then a robot come, pick up the car and park it for him. The Stanley Robotics solution addresses the growth and environmental challenges of Lyon Airport, producing parking spaces in a reduced footprint without soil artificialization while enhancing the customer experience with an innovative approach. The extension of the robotic parking will fully achieve the production of additional spaces, estimated at over 50% within an equivalent footprint. The connectivity is a, a very important uh, point for, uh, for us because the robots need to be connected to the infrastructure at any time with a very low latency. They receive orders from the infrastructure to move cars. We need to uh, be able to supervise a, a robot, to take control of a robot from uh, anywhere in the world. So for that, we need to be sure that the connection between the robots and the infrastructure is always very good. Until uh, last year, uh, we were was working with Wi-Fi. It's working quite well. But when you want to increase uh, the, the capacity and the size of the car park, you need uh, to uh, add a lot of Wi-Fi antenna, and, and that is not possible. I am Bartolo Scanavino. I am the CTO of Firecell. The mission of Firecell is to bring 5G available for everybody, even if they don't have a technology experience in telecom. For the installation of the solution, it was very easy and very quick. We just have to put one antenna on the infrastructure, one antenna on the robots, and it's almost plug and play. For the deployment of the network, we start the installation in October, and it was ready in November. Well, there are two main challenges for Stanley Robotics. The first one is the coverage, and the second issue is also the stability of the system and the guarantee of the different streams arrive at the robots at the perfect timing. We're using the quota services in 5G. You can guarantee that uh, at least all the streams that are mandatory to be received by the robot are received, something that in Wi-Fi is not possible today. Since we have de deployed uh, this um, new network, uh, we see that the communication uh, works quite well. We take some routers, etc., to make a test at longer distance, and we see that at longer distance it's working well. A few years ago, it was very expensive, and recently, when we start working with uh, Firecell and Oraxio, we see that the price are coming down and the setup is very easy to put, so that's why we uh, go through it. The process uh, was quite simple. First, we analyze the, the park and the field, and uh, we apply for uh, the frequency because you need to have a license for the frequency in 5G. It was uh, just a one day installation to install the antenna, put the hardware together, and start it up. So it was quite simple and uh, very uh, easy for the, the guy that uh, installed it. The main uh, improvement that they have using 5G instead of Wi-Fi or other technology is the coverage. Because you design the system with a dedicated frequency, you can make sure that the system is always uh, running and there is no interference from other neighborhood. The second point is that you have a reliable system because it is a telecommunication system so that it is already proved by the telecom operator and it is adapted for the private networks. And the last benefit is the management of the quality of the signal and so that you can guarantee different streams with different needs of quality to be addressed in the proper way. We have a big team of R&D that is ensuring that the system is uh, matching the quality that is needed for this kind of deployment. Moreover, what I, I see is also uh, the possibility for new features uh, thanks to the 5G, because we know that with the 5G we can have uh, precise localization uh, that we can use to complete uh, our own uh, localization system for the robots, but also use it for human and also to use it for the maintenance guy that could connect directly their tablet or their phone uh, to uh, the this network to have access to all the database. A new amount of possibilities that we want to explore in the near future with Firecell and Oraxio.